Hello everyone and welcome into a Monday edition of Gold and Blue Now. I'm Chip Fontanaza. Today's program is brought to you by Suddenlink, where the Red Tag event is going on right now. You can get Suddenlink high-speed internet for as low as $15 a month. For the first time in almost two decades, there will be a new face to the Mountaineer baseball program in the dugout. The search for a new head coach begins today after WDBU Athletic Director Oliver Luck announced over the weekend that he will not renew the contract for former head coach Greg Van Zandt. And Van Zandt's contract will end at the end of June, and according to reports, he will stay on with the athletic department in a yet-to-be-determined position until the end of the year. Now, next season, West Virginia will enter the Big 12 Conference, which is one of the toughest baseball conferences in the nation. In the past 10 years, it has won two national championships, and both of those were by the Texas Longhorns. Six of the teams in the current Big 12 Conference have won at least one Big 12 regular season or tournament title. Now, one way West Virginia is hoping to get on the same level as some of those Big 12 programs is by building a new stadium, and there are already plans in the works to build a new baseball facility. And once that new baseball facility is built, it will probably have a big impact on recruiting. And right now, recruiting is something the football team is doing a lot of. Over the weekend, they got its fourth verbal commitment in the 2013 recruiting class and quarterback Chavis Rawlings and there are a plethora of players that the Mountaineers are still looking at and are hoping to get commitments from in the future. We'll start off with Solomon Warfield, a six foot, 170 pound athlete who is a quick and hard hitting safety from St. Edwards High School in Ohio. He is also a teammate of 2012 signee Tyler or Lofsky. Warfield has over 15 Division I offers, including one from Big 12 folk Kansas and Rich Rodriguez out in Arizona. Defensive end Alvante Bell is another player the Mountaineers are keeping a close eye on. The Miramar native has more than 10 Division I offers, and now he doesn't go to the famed Miramar High School where Stedman Bailey and Geno Smith went. He actually attends Everglade High School, which is not too far away, and he is listed as a four-star prospect by Scout.com. Heading deep into the heart of Texas, 300-pound offensive lineman Maurice Porter from Missouri City, Texas, has an offer from WDVU, along with Big 12 foes Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, and Baylor. He is also getting a lot of interest from Oklahoma as well. Porter is known for having some good speed for being such a big lineman. Now switching back to Rawlings, one of the reasons he chose WVU was because they were heading into the Big 12 Conference, and he says he's excited to see what the team will accomplish in the future. It um, shows that West Virginia has grown superb over the Big East, you know what I mean? I think that's my personal opinion. Uh, definitely grown superb over the Big East and have great expectations for the Big 12. And you can read more about Rawlings at our website, WV Metro News. Dot com. Also, today's the first day of summer classes on the campus of West Virginia University. Many of the Mountaineer athletes are back in town after a short break where they will be getting ready for the upcoming season, also concentrating on their schoolwork as well. As always, our program is brought to you by Suddenlink, where the Red Tag event is going on right now. You can get Suddenlink high-speed internet for as low as $15 a month. Well, that will do it for today's program of Gold and Blue Now. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.